Hello everyone and welcome to World of Tanks, that's what it is Scott, well done. World of Tanks with me Mr. Scooter Doodles and uh, sorry for that shoddy intro. My mind is uh, it's quite drifting today. And uh, yeah, well, it's been a while. Well, maybe not from when I'm uploading, it could be, but it's been a long time since I've actually recorded Tanks. A long time. Because uh, as of this point I'm recording this, I have, it's been quite busy. I'm not that well, but it's fine. But yeah, anyway. Tier 7 artillery, eh? The Lorraine. Oh, kind of a, a different take on artillery in the French line, as this is really the biggest gun you get. Uh, is this uh, the 155s? You don't really get, in fact, you don't get any higher than that. Whereas James over there, he's using the 155 in this battle, but now he's got the bigger one. Whatever it is, and you know, Russian artillery's giant guns. And, yeah, so French is another it's a different way of playing it. You reload quicker, you aim very quick in the French artillery. Damage isn't great, pen's not great, it's mediocre. But uh, the reload's alright. It's not actually the best. James's artillery actually reloads quicker than this, even though it's not his best gun, in inverted commas. That 12 turn is uh, he's playing interestingly. I'm not taking that shot. So this is a bit of lag. But, uh, I don't know why there would be. But I guess it's just because I'm going so fast now. And, uh, this game is a close one. State off. I'm running XVM again. Woo, XVM. Doesn't that make everyone happy? So, uh, as you can see, there's like no splash on this gun at all and uh, James has already said that artillery is yep, trying to counter Bastry because he got shot or hit so I instantly move and I'm going to keep moving yeah playing with Adam as well as in his VK god knows where he went the other way it's, uh, it's quite a good spread really most of ours are up here but most of theirs are there maybe a bit light but our 5100's died spectacularly in an interesting position but I am aimed in bit of a pot shot don't know if it hit, because apparently I went out sniper mode. But we'll assume it didn't, because uh, hit counts probably would have said something. I don't know if you actually have to see the damage, or if it's just if they're spotted or not, they're still recording. So, yeah. See on. Nice aim. I say nice aim time when it's six, like, six and a half seconds. It feels nice compared to other. So I have an SG-41, and that feels tragically bad. You're gonna go there, sir. You didn't, sir. So, so far, terrible. At this moment, terrible. Our IS 3 is not very happy. And, uh, we're starting to melt, really, on this flank. And the flank's pushing. So, we're on voice chat, and I was saying push really quick, Adam, because there's not that many there. Let's see if we can win this. I remember this game well, it was very tense. And there's the IS-3 and he's not... Yep, yeah, he's gone. And I'm actually pretty lucky that that killed him. You'd think 600 damage on a, a tier 8, surely that's not looking an artillery direct hit. It is in this thing, trust me. Uh, obviously, will not be all the tanks without some rage. And to be fair, we only had two heavies go the other way. I guess there were tier 8s, but... Still. See, that's usually what you can expect from this gun. Uh, now he's starting to rage at his team. Which is always nice, and our IS-3 is not looking very healthy. At all. So we've got T29 left, that's it. Am I going to take a pot shot? Probably not. If I'm looking at this now, I'd say don't take that shot. So, oh, I'm 44, just got a shot. I really wanted to hit this guy, but he just wouldn't. He dies in. So yeah, so our T34 is now calling us noob, even though we're winning, just because he didn't have his game his way. Therefore, it's a terrible noob game. And, uh, I'm getting behind these bushes, and I'm getting ready for for uh, anti-tank mode. And may I just add, anti this is the worst artillery I think in the game for anti-tank. James misses. I hit for 200 on that IS-3. Isn't that great? James isn't long for the world, I don't think. But uh, we're actually going to cap. Oh no, we didn't. 
I didn't actually remember that. Looks like the Carnarvon came back and Adam died to artillery. Which is interesting. Uh, this all of a sudden isn't looking great at base. At all. We'll see what we can do. You see my gun arc can't actually reach him. It hit somehow, it must have hit him right in the square of the turret. But I don't know how James is still alive up there. Oh, his gun failed him again. Yeah. Let's pause it, you look. Literally the gun can't look down in this thing. So if you are ever like, you know, rushing artillery and you think, oh no, it's a French artillery, it'll be accurate. He's gonna kill me. Literally just even a minor hill under him and he can't shoot you. It's it's bad. It's really bad. It's probably one of the, the worst. Right, wow, we forty four is pulling his weight. T twenty nine is definitely pulling his weight. Getting that in. And then I realise, oh shit, the cap is at seventy odd percent. And then I don't even know <laughs> how how that went in, but I'm pretty sure that twinned with this this great performance by this T29 R team just saved the oh dear. Actually maybe not. Not looking so hot now. Centurion's on a lot of health though, surely it'll be a bit alright against these. With some support. Hopefully. Trying to help you, Centurion. Can only do so much now. All he has to do, the Centurion at this point, is not attack him, which is exactly what he's doing. And our T29 just died. Now this isn't good. So I'm, I'm specifically ignoring the T29 in base because I want this Carnarvon to die. So he's gone. Oh dear. Take a pot shot. So we're up to almost 3,000 damage, which is it's fairly nice in this thing. T29's gone down. M44. This game was great. Also, what's the, uh, the name of that? Death for Efficiency. He only played 1,000 battles and he put up an amazing fight. So, props. Props Death for Efficiency. So, yeah. I'm loading uh, my special HE, which doesn't really do anything but give me a lot of splash. Uh, as you can see, the T-34 is probably trying to uh, see if our 5100 is here because he's noticed he died front up. That means he can yell at him for being bad, even though the T-34 is dead. Hey, I don't know. Some players in this game make your eye angry. Or make you wonder how this is like coping normal life. They get that angry on this. Won't they get like crazy angry at anything bad in real life? doesn't go that way. But I'm rambling, I'm sorry. But uh just speak some quick because we're trying to find a canard. And uh I'm pretty worried that he's gonna appear but it's alright because I'm in a safe spot oh, it's been spotted anyway and oh crap, that's a pretty damn impossible shot. But we might get lucky. Oh fire it anyway. I don't know how that shot managed to do that because it was literally nothing could hit him so I don't know how that happened but I'm pretty happy so yeah I know I'll tell you I probably won't be doing much artillery on my channel because it's eh, questionable unless it's lots of anti-tank derping derpiness but uh, yeah thank you all for watching I hope to see you all next time bye